important to have principles, but it's also important to have a sense of what is the change you want to see in the world. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Peter Merholtz. A product has to have usability, it has to have user experience, and it has to have user experience work. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jacob Nielsen. Good design doesn't come from just sitting around a table and wishing for it. The most important thing for a creative person to do, to anchor themselves in really making a difference. Hi, I'm Angel Anderson. Is to understand the problem. So let's hear it for Peter Boersma. Asking people questions and uh, asking how they see the world where this ebook lives um, uh, is the first start. When the first Model T Ford rolled off the assembly line, the very first okay. automobile made in a factory, one of the problems that uh, customers would complain to Ford about was the fact that anytime it rained, they would have to get their head wet Go, putting their head out the window to get the water off of. The problem is not that customers need a hole in the door so they don't get wet when they drive. The problem is that drivers can't see when it's raining. So this is part of my teaching now, right? Is is that design leaders need to have a, an agenda, a vision. What is the change they want to realize in the world? And be very clear about that. And then understand that it's a journey to get there. I learned the hard way by building a hole in the door many times. <laughs> when you are in a design mode and you're generating ideas, you have to come up with things that didn't exist before, ways of working. You must be willing to be proven wrong. You go out there with an idea or you go out there with the intent to collect ideas from others to make it your diagram, but it needs to be a shared diagram, which means you need to be open to feedback and to be, be proven wrong. Designers want things without wanting, to, wanting the accountability for those things. If you want to have a voice, you need to be accountable. You need to be willing to like, take the blame or whatever when things don't go well. Early on, it, it took a little bit of work to break the habit of not just sticking to the facts. Imagining and, and being creative requires you to take a leap beyond what's currently possible. The work I do is really trying to encourage them to own their voice, to own their power, to demonstrate confidence. Your job as the UX person is to come to the table deeply plugged into and amplifying the voice of the customer. The only thing I can say is, you, yeah, you need to trust me. And, and yeah, then that there is a risk, yes. I'm sure, I'm sure I have an ego. I'm sure there are jobs I didn't take or wouldn't have considered because of my ego. Gosh, is this really the right problem?